Ahead this week, should the government create a new national park in Los Alamos celebrating the start of the atomic age? Plus, debate and discussion on the governor's plan to cross-reference the residency of undocumented immigrants who have New Mexico driver's licenses. And experts talk about the suggestion health insurance companies cover the full cost of birth control and HIV tests. New Mexico in Focus starts now. As the nation waits to see if the federal government can come to a compromise in extending the debt ceiling, the fiscal focus in New Mexico is once again on unemployment. Some new signs point to improvements in the jobs outlook, but not everyone is convinced we're on the path to recovery. Ahead this week, the line panelists will tackle that debate, and they're also ready to weigh in on Governor Susana Martinez's plan to take a sample of how many undocumented immigrants who have driver's licenses are actually living in the state. Plus, NMIF correspondent Gwyneth Dolan talks to local health officials and scholars about a new suggestion the federal government should mandate that insurance companies cover the cost of birth control. But up first, U.S. Interior Secretary Ken Salazar recently reignited a familiar controversy by outwardly supporting a series of three new national parks honoring the development of the atomic bomb through the so-called Manhattan Project. 